everyone, it's Trish. It's uh, very late on this Saturday evening, um, but I really needed to get my April favorites done. So um, I've got lots of fake lighting going. I've been adjusting it. Sometimes I think I'm really washed out. Sometimes I feel like I'm too dark while I'm filming. So we'll just kind of see how this turns out and hopefully y'all remember these settings. Um, so let's jump right in. I have actually two very nostalgic things for me um, that my daughter got for her first birthday and it was so fun buying those things for her and now I kind of understand my son grew up in the era of the Ninja Turtles and he has bought my son a plethora of the kind of antique ones and the ones that are out again now and the Transformers and all that seems to be circulating around from when we were children now into our children's lives which is very weird and awesome. So two things that she did get for her birthday. One, I got her this purple Care Bear if you grew up around the 80s or so. I mean, I had it all. I had pretty much all of them. I had the bedspread. I had the dust ruffle. I had the curtains. I had it all. And she just loves this bear. He's just soft. She's really into stuffed animals. So she loves that. And another big thing from my childhood, Cabbage Patch Kids. Um, this is one of the newborn ones, which are, um, I guess, meant for littler kids, and she is loving her. It comes with a pacifier and a little um, bottle. We call it Baba, and she holds it up to her face. It's just interesting, even at one, that they understand that. It's like the maternal instinct comes on so quickly. Um, but yeah, so fun, and I found a blonde hair, blue eyes. She's just now starting to get some fuzzy hair on the back of her head, so... Just two things I just wanted to share that have been were my favorites because that's a favorite gift to buy for a kid. Now I'm going to jump into some beauty products. One of the things that I've had for actually a long time but it's now made its way back into my rotation and I've seen some other YouTubers talk about it and I said, yeah, I have that too. And I used it back in the day and I guess I must not have been that impressed with it at the time. Maybe it was the application that I was using. But um, it's the Ben 9... Ben Nye Ban Banana Visage Powder, and I've seen some people use it in a pressed form, but um, it does come with talc, but a lot of people are using it for an under eye setting, and so I've been trying that, so hopefully I don't look too creepy, or you're going bye-bye again. But that's why I don't get rid of things, because I'm like, uh, I don't know. They just always seem to like jump back in your rotation, or you learn, learn a new way to use it, or something like that. Um, next, I... Um, but I, I've never had any high-end eyeshadows, what I consider high-end. I'm always just from the drugstore, but I went ahead and purchased, QVC was having a great deal on this set of the IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty. And it comes with 14 shadows and then a transforming pearl. And I love this. It's worth every penny to me. Um, I just, I love this, the colors. I love the um, quality is fantastic it was well worth the money and not only did it come with that it came with another new product that um, I love and actually the night that they brought this on as like a filler they had the um, it celebration foundation and they sold out of it so quickly they had to jump in and bring in another deal and that's when they had this so they had this they had the it cosmetics hello lashes five-in-one clinically proven mascara I love this this is amazing I wear it um, on its own sometimes I'll wear it with also a coat of the covergirl lash blast um, regular or the clump crusher and it's fantastic it is just amazing it's so black it's so pigmented it really um, it really does make your life, I can't remember the specific claim, but like 400% or something in volume and length, and I agree. It's fantastic. And it also came with um, the It Cosmetics, eh, Cosmetic Heavenly Lux No Tug Dual Eyeshadow Brush. So you have a smudger and then an all over brush that's um, great for application for this. And I really like the little smudger brush. I will put on like a pencil liner and then I will use one of these shadows to kind of press over it and it really helps it stay and if you know anything about it cosmetic brushes they are highly expensive but they are highly soft and of fantastic quality so that was a great person purchase I love all three of these they are amazing so if you ever see a deal on QVC for these 
it's amazing. And these eyeshadows, I feel like, are going to last me forever. I am kind of partial to, I always use a lighter color on my lids because I do have small eyes. So I am partial to these two colors here, the Sheer Joy, the Love, and then the Transforming Pearl. But um, I've used them all. Um, as you can tell, I've, my brush has been in all of them. So they are, make some very pretty looks. So love that. And one more beauty product that I have that um, I don't think I paid much, too much attention when I bought it. I needed some more dry shampoo. Um, I can usually get by second day from not washing without using a, um, um, a dry shampoo. But by the third day, if I'm not going to wash, if I'm just going to wear it up or something like that, I, I'd have to have some dry shampoo. And typically I've been using the um, Tresemme. And it's okay. I've tried... Gosh, I can't even remember what it's called. It's white, like something like it's not your mother's this or something. I don't know. Um, and it actually got clogged, and then I couldn't even use the rest of it, and I wasn't that impressed with it anyway. So, but this one, and I didn't realize that there were, like, specific ones. This is Pantene. Um, I can't even see if you can tell what it is. But it says Blowout Extend Dry Shampoo. Well, I don't get blowouts. I don't even blow dry my own hair because I wash my hair at night. But it says Instant Waterless Refreshment to help extend your blowout. So, I mean, that's technically what it's for. It has Pro-V formula plus natural tapioca. So you shake, you spray, you rub it in, and you brush it out, and it is fantastic. Um, what I typically do is I pull all my hair up because my hair gets oily around the uh, perimeter of my face and a little bit underneath and then the crown here. So if I pull it up in a ponytail and I just spray all around and I just leave it for a while while I put my makeup on then I do the rub and then I brush it out and it really it smells great it does leave if you you know put quite a bit on there you do get kind of a grayish overcast but once you brush it out you can't see it so um, it, it just extends for a day's worth so I don't know if it would made it have made a difference if I would have not gotten the blowout one but um, I'm kind of not wanting to try the other ones because I know this works so well. So I do recommend this. I haven't bought Pantene products in forever and I was really impressed. It says feels cleaner, satisfaction guaranteed, and my hair really did feel does feel cleaner when I use this. So awesome. And my last thing is a food item. I purchased it. I don't know, but yeah, I would have had to have been in my last Aldi haul because I bought for the month. This is the Simply Nature organic lightly salted popcorn and it's just organic popcorn or organic sunflower and or safflower seed oil and salt and that's it and this is great this is a great it has 37 calories per cup it's a great little snack it's gluten free it's non-gmo um and yeah i just love it sometimes after i eat dinner if i'm up for a little bit you know i do feel like i want a snack but i want something light i don't want to eat you know regular potato chips which we don't really buy those very often but you know, you just want something. You're just kind of looking in the cabinet. For me, sometimes that's a bowl of cereal, or um, I really enjoyed this. So I do recommend that I got it at Aldi's. Um, so if you're there and you see it, pick it up. I think it's great. It's lightly salted. Now it has a buttery flavor to it, obviously, though, through the um, ingredients, there's no butter in it. So it must be the sunflower or safflower oil. So fantastic. Those are my stuff. Oh, I've got one more. I'm wearing it. So this is a cute little cardigan kind of thing. It has more, I'll show you if I can back up into my frame. It's got more of like the cat, the cocoon, <laughs> cocoon style. So it kind of scoops down like this. And so it's um, pretty plain for the most part. It's like an oatmeal kind of color, but then, then you get this which is this beautiful lace background. And I'm just wearing a white tank top underneath. And I just think that it's so cute. I love something that's very simple, but has a great detail to it. I got this at Rue 21, I think for like, oh, eight or $10. So um, I love wearing basics, like a white tank and then something with a little pizzazz over it. And you can just wear it with some skinny jeans or some compri kind of pants at this time of the year. White jeans, black jeans. I wear it with black tanks. Um, and especially these days, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I go to a restaurant or the movie theater, even when it's 90 degrees outside, I am freezing. It is so cold inside. So I always like to have something like this even in the car. I can fold this up and put this in my purse. And I, I have something with me that's neutral that I can throw over almost anything 
that a basic that I'm wearing or even something a little bit um, dressier so anyway I just wanted to share that I just think it's really cute so those are my April favorites um, I will be filming an April um, flops that I didn't really enjoy or I think we're calling them awesome April items and then I don't know what our A word will be for a negative um, maybe I don't know we'll think about it and we'll, we'll label it we'll title it with something fancy so before I close this evening though um, I do want to extend my wishes and best thoughts and great vibes and prayers to my friend Brecken who also does videos on in spite of because of she's my partner on this video or this YouTube channel she is about to have some major surgery next week with um, the possibility of some unknown things she runs a daycare out of her home she has two precious boys and she is one of the best people that I have ever known um, we've gotten really close through this YouTube channel and um, talk almost daily um, and just a beautiful beautiful gal inside and out and so if you are out there and um, you are a prayerful spiritual good wish kind of person if you could send those thoughts our way to her she will be having surgery next Thursday I will update you in the next video about how it went but um, just wanting to send the best vibes out there that we can to her and she just giving her strength and um, courage and um, all of those things so if you have a moment in your day to think of her that would be so appreciated and um, as always take care of yourself <laughs>